What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Today's episode guys is going to be jam packed with all of the grinding that we've got to do with objectives, icon swaps, foot champs and all that good stuff. But one of the burning questions from you guys is what am I going to take from icon swaps? So before we get into that, if you guys want to drop a thumbs up on the video, I'd be very much appreciated. And for me guys, I, I think there's a couple of like decent options. Uh, decent option number one would be the 91 Prime Icon Pack. 91 plus prime icon pack, although there's only 10 or so non prime icons and one of the and the 82 by 25 pack. I think probably one of the best options is the uh, the base icon pack, uh, which is eight tokens, and then these three packs here, right? Because it gives you an icon and 75 rare golds. I think some people are going to take Ashley Cole, um, which isn't a bad shout either, and then uh, the two uh, the two big packs here. But for me personally, guys. I'm going to go for everything you see on this front page. I'm going to go for the 81 by 25, the 82 by 25, and the 83 by 25 because that's going to give me 75 rare gold players. And if I'm being honest as well, I'm probably going to hold these until a, a good promo comes out where there's a card that I'm like, damn, I want those, or a massive SBC comes out where I'm like, damn, there's a card that I want out of that, so I want to grind it, or until team of the season. I know that's a long way away, but right now we don't need anything else. And then I'm also going to take this Prime Icon Moments Deco. And the reason why I'm going to take him isn't because I want him necessarily, because I don't want him, right? He doesn't get into my team or anywhere near to it. Four star, three star. You know, he's got really nice dribbling, good stamina, really nice passing, okay shooting and okay pace, right? But he's only four star, three star, which sucks a little bit. The reason why I'm going to take him is because, first of all, he's a 91 rated Prime Icon Moments, which could have really good value when EA released the proper Icon SBCs. For example, if they release like a 94, Four or 95 or whatever it is, Thierry Henry, like his Prime Icon Moments SBC, if in one of the segments it requires an icon, that's a 91 rated icon for me to put in there that I don't have to uh, buy or craft or anything like that. And then there's also the option that they might put in requirements, Prime Icon Moments as a requirement as well. And at that point, we will also have a Prime Icon Moment and he'll be good for chemistry and all sorts. So for me personally, guys, from Swaps, I'm literally going to take exactly what you see on this first page and uh, we'll open the uh, the packs accordingly. Um, so the first thing we'll go for is this Deco because we'll go and get, I've already got two tokens, we're only five tokens away from him and we'll go and pick him up and we might, we might, we might use him because obviously with Ronaldo, we can link him quite handsomely uh, to Deco and we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, for now, guys, we're going to get into some games, some gameplay. We've got lots to grind for. So I will be right back. Ooh. That's a real poor team for this stage in FIFA, isn't it? Probably a new account. Strange, isn't it? Strange that they don't put... They don't put them in... Uh, into draft yet. Because what's the point of, like, not being able to play with them, you know? Go on, Lewa! Love that. I really like that finish off the uh, lofted ball. It's Petit. Ronaldo, De Bruyne, Viper, you need to te teach me a little bit of uh, LB dribbling. I don't always do it right, and I don't know how to do it right. Oh, what's Bruno Fernandes doing back there? Should have doubled that. Go on, Lewa. 2 0, let's go. Nice. Oh, I needed that first time, Lewa. That's the one. Doesn't save those. 3-0. We're chilling. We're cruising here. What's the record? I'm literally 1-1, one one actually. I, I lost my first game like, uh, yesterday, which I think is the first time I've ever lost my first game of Ultimate Team Champs in any FIFA ever for game one. I think once I was DC'd in the first game um, whilst winning, which I, you know technically was a loss, but it was, an, like, it was one of those ones where like, the full-time whistle had gone and I'd won the game, and then I got disconnected afterwards. Um... But, uh, 
Morning. Um, but so yeah, I think that was genuinely the first ever time that I actually lost the first game. Oh, this guy's gone. All right. Very comfortable win there. Lower with a hat trick and the assist. I think De Bruyne got one goal and one assist. I think Ronaldo got a couple of assists. And unless this is going to be one of those games as well where it like DCs. No, it's not. Happy days. Yeah, three and one. One, one, one and one for Rooney as well. Not too bad, not too bad. Nice, comfortable victory. I think one of my first, one of my worst ever starts in Ultimate Team clubs, no, not clubs, champs, was in FIFA 19. I started four wins and six losses, right? Four wins and six losses. And I remember sitting to myself thinking, holy moly, like, don't, do, do you guys ever have just like a bat, like whatever your normal is, right? Let's say your normal is five and five or six and four or seven and three after 10, whatever your normal is. Do you ever have like a bad run and then sit there and think, did I just like lose all of, oh, I've gone in with the wrong team. I've gone in with the wrong team. Oh, that's a rip. This guy must think all his Christmases have come at once. I have got some players on the bench, I think. Oh no! Um, do you ever do you ever like have a bad start and think, man, I've just lost all ability to like actually play FIFA? I remember the weekend where I went four and six after ten, and that's exactly what I thought. I was like, damn, I genuinely have just forgotten. I don't know how to play FIFA anymore. That's it. My life's over. Oh, go on, go on, Bruda! He's missed it. Um, I've got Davies. I think Davies on there. It's, it's, do you know what? It's not a terrible team that we've got here. I've got Lewa. Let's bring Lewa on for Calvert-Lewin. Milner and Gundogan are all right. Rooney's all right. Van Dijk. Fofana's a bit tragic, but we'll keep him on for now. And we'll save we'll save Ronaldo for later. Uh, we'll play the 3-5-2 as well. Why not? Um, and then that same weekend that I, I started 4-6, and six, I finished 24-6. and six. I had literally went and won all of my next 20 games to get the first 24 win... Uh, weekend that I had had on that FIFA. How how hilarious is that? That's a foul ref. How hilarious is that? Do you reckon I'm up against someone with lower chemistry? Because this guy doesn't have 100 chemistry. Do you reckon I'm up against someone with lower chemistry? Because I have lower chemistry. Come on, KDB, baby. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. Let's go. First game for, uh, first game for Big Verge. We've got Kukurela and Fofana uh, gaining some, uh, some traction here. All the way. All the way! All the way! Let's go. Pass that was. Brown missed the actual good pass, didn't he? Oh, he's away here. That'd be a goal. 2-1. Back in it. Oh yeah, Viper, I don't know if you was here earlier. I need you to teach me how to do the LB sprint boost like you do the LB sprint boost. Because I try my best and I just don't get it like you get it. Take a free kick there though. That's a goal. That's a goal. Oh, ho, ho. that's a goal. Let's go. What a bang that is. Go on, Lewa. Boom. He's just clean, isn't he? I love Lewandowski so much. Considering how bad my team is, I have absolutely battered this guy. Yeah, he's quitting. Happy days. I got... Oh, phew. Man, I, I literally went in with the wrong team. I went in with... I'll show you what team I went in with. But it was the wrong team. And I, man, I managed to batter this guy. You love to see that, don't you? What on earth is that for a team? That is the sweatiest team I have seen. He's even got Kleiber and Walker at centre-back. He's 100% putting Walker at right-back and Dan James at centre-back. He's got Red Ronaldo. My God. Because look, look at his players dropping back. He's got three men on stay forwards. Which means, as soon as I lose possession, 
I'm on a 3v2 counter-attack negatively, right? I don't want to be on a 3v2 counter-attack negatively as, as soon as I lose possession. So now I want to go fire at the back and make sure I'm at 3v3. Yeah, that's a harsh pen, man. That is a harsh pen on the uh, on DCL there. Let's go. Let's go. So I'm, I'm going to play five at the back now because, as I say, this guy's using three men up front and everybody else on comeback slash stay back. And I don't want to get countered like that. See what I mean with this guy's team? It's just so many body, bodies back. And then so many bodies forwards. Oh, Blanc. Laurent Blanc, man. Come on. Blanc's like put a stuck a leg out on that one. Oh, come on. What are my defenders doing? Jesus Christ, man. You are kidding me. Thank you, Rooney. It's one of those ones where it's like, look, it, that's a really unfortunate penalty because Trent obviously did not mean to bring him down, right? Oh, for crying out loud, where are my defenders going? But at the same time, if it then stands as a penalty... Based on Granite Xhaka getting sent off, or David Luiz getting sent off, sorry. How has Trent not been sent off? Because he made no attempt to play the ball. Let's go lower. I've got to be scoring that. That's so poor for me. I had so much time there. I've got to be scoring off of that. Let's go, Loire. Funnily enough, I think this guy's come out at half-time all-out attack. Go on, Bappe. Let's go, Bappe! Good goal, that. That's game over. Hey, that is a GG. That was a tough one, but that is a GG. I, I certainly had way more possession, way more clear-cut chances and, and all sorts. He had an insane team, man. Ronaldo, Red Ronaldo, 94. Cruyff. The player of the month, Fernandez. mid Hullet, mid Vieira, 95 Maradona. Future Stars, James. I think it was Team of the Year Davies, uh, regular Carl Walker and the Kleber, and then Van der Sar in goal. Crazy team, man. That is a crazy team. But yeah, we, I mean, look at that. He had four shots the whole game. Look at where my shots are from, man. I 100% deserve that. I 100% deserve that. His passing was good, but look, we dominated possession. We dominated chances. He scored from all four of his, uh, four of his attacks, and that's it. Like... I'll take that nicely. If we let's copy his squad and I'll show you guys it in like actual actual squad. Yeah, I'll definitely go for the 50 rare golds, uh, Simeon, instead of the 25. Personally, my man. All right, here we go. Oh, Ben Ched, Griezmann, and Didi. Jesus Christ, Chilwell on a basic. That's, that's a really low tier team, isn't it? And I know his team is literally garbage. I don't care. This attack looks highly promising. Chance to put them in front. I don't care. I'm not losing to players like this. Not again. <laughs> a goal let's go another one for lower baby 
It's got to be the double tap. Nepenthes, wake up, pal. That's an easy goal. Just double tap. Why is it auto switch? I'm in front of his son there, and it's auto switched me off. And patience, He's actually going to get a goal off of that as well. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm in front of his son, then I tackle his son, and then I miss the simplest tackle. What an absolute weird, weird guy. What a weird guy. Well, I just don't understand. I literally don't understand the logic. He's got like, like literally like eight men in his box, two one down in the eighty third minute, and will just stand still and let me stand still. Why even play the game? I just don't understand. This guy had one shot and scored one goal from it. We dominated the game. We deserved the win. We got the win. But man, I I, I cannot understand people's ideas when they play this game. There's nothing he can do because the AI won't push up. He could have played offside trap. That would have pushed the AI up. He could have gone on constant pressure. That would have made his team play a bit more urgent. All right, guys. Welcome back to the road to glory. We have hit 10 wins. Um, it's currently about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, obviously, we went to... Um, what were we? We were like 4-1 and one with the games that you saw. Or maybe 5-1 and one with the games that you saw. I'm actually 10-2 and two right now. I lost to a very good FIFA player. Um, he actually had like quite a basic gold squad. He had the meta players, your Varans and Mendy and so on and so forth, but it wasn't like full of special cards. So an interesting account to come up against. But we're 10 and 2 and I've actually had a lot of rage quits. I haven't been streaming the games. I've just been playing them myself. And it's, uh, you know, I, I don't want to bang on about it, but it's so much easier when I play this game off stream <laughs> than it is on stream. Uh, I'm going to get one more win to go to 11. Um, obviously, first and foremost, we're at a point where we've got um, the red player pick for 10 wins. Now, of course, for me, guys, Aubameyang would be literally perfect. I don't know if I want to go to 16 wins. I just don't care enough, you know? Um, that's where I'm at with it. I just don't care enough. But we have indeed got our Weekend League Plus uh, 10 win player pick pack. Aubameyang would just be it. Aubameyang would be ideal. Can we get him? Let's see. Oh, we can't. We get Yaremchuk, Hilton, and Merritt. And this is kind of why Foot Champs is just dog anyway. You know what I mean? We get like I mean this this guy's like a bit 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 weirdly all right. You know his pace is actually good. Very good sprint speed. Good finishing. Dribbling sucks. Uh, short passing is quite nice and vision physical is quite nice. But obviously we're never ever 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 really going to use him. And we've also got a little pack there as well. Um, from the store. So I just need one more weekend league win to get up to my silver one. And that is where I'm going to end uh, for this week. Um, and I need uh, I need to then start working on all of the other objectives. Uh, I want to go and get those three Future Stars cards polished off as quick as possible. I want to go and get the... Uh, he's a duplicate untradeable for sure. I want to go and get... Um, I want to go and get... Uh, the icon swap stuff done as quick as possible. And I literally just want to get all of the objectives cleared away so that we don't have anything to do. Um, so I've got one more weekend league win to get. And then after that, I'm just going to be grinding objectives between now and next Thursday just to try and polish them off as quick as possible. Um, but we'll, I'll be showing you what we're going to be doing uh, with a squad. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. So for, <clears throat> for the uh, first thing we're going to... Well, for the next thing we're going to do in today's video, we're going to start with... Some of the icon swaps, um, one league players. Uh, we're going to start with the French league team as well. So we need to win six with uh, the French league and eight first owns, which obviously isn't going to be too difficult. I, I have a feeling my French league team is going to be really nice. We need to score a finesse shot in six separate matches. Um, and we need to assist in 10 separate matches. So we've got to play obviously at least 10 games, <clears throat> which is not going to be... Um, too easy i don't know if people are doing like the golden goal stuff I, I don't really like don't really mind either um i just want to create i suppose let's actually get rid of uh that and let's get rid of that and let's get rid of that and let's get rid of that and let's create a new squad obviously eight first owned is going to be nice and easy we have got mbappe uh we have got Molay, florenzi um we've got a few loan players as well 
So yeah, I'm I'm excited to build the team. Let's let's have a look. We got that Marquinhos card, which is quite good. So in goal we got Steve, Steve. We got uh, Florenzi and Atal as our fullbacks, and I'm going to play Atal over on that other hand side. Of course, we've got Koscielny, um in as one of the centre backs. We've also got Denier at centre back, which is a nice card to have there. In at the right mid, we've got Lala, the lone cards. Always good to have done him. And then we've got Rafinha, and uh, I'm going to actually. Uh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wait to fill in the rest of the team because I've got a lot of players here um that aren't in like the best positions. Oh, we got that David card, we've got Awa. How could we forget about him? Um, I don't really think we have too much more else that I would care about. Um, so let's just fill up the bench with with some players. Oh, I got rid of Golovin, didn't I? I sold him when we were going for through team of the year. Um, so Golovin is gone. Um, but it's not a problem. We're still going to be able to make ends meet quite comfortably. Um, we're going to play with David up front. We're going to play with Mbappe up front. Uh, we're going to play with Awar in the team. And then, ooh, I want, I kind of want Marquinhos and Mole. So I think what we're going to do is go into the 4 2 or the 4 3 one, two. And then we'll have uh, Lala on the bench with all of these guys. Um, I quite like this as a team. I'll, I'll probably just play the 4-4-2. We'll, no, we'll probably play... Let's play the 4-1-2-2 and narrow. Let's put Marquinhos at DM. Let's put Rafinha and Mole at centre mid. Let's put uh, Alwar at Cam. No, let's put Alwar at centre mid. All I'm going to have to do is start in the 4 triple 2 Because I, and, oh, I don't really want to be purchasing... I don't really want to be purchasing a striker to Cam. Um, uh, position modifier, because they're expensive. What's Mole saying on four chemistry? He gets a minor boost, you know. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm just going to play with Mole on four chemistry. I don't even care. Or would I rather Awa on four chemistry? I think I would, because I think his in-games are just a little bit better. Yeah, he's a little bit better. So we want the full chem there. So in game, let's go to custom tactics. We are going to play uh, a 4-3-2-1. That's what we're going to play because I want to try it out. I've wanted to try it out since I heard Richard Buckley talking about how good he was with it. Uh, so we'll have Mbappe up front. We'll have, yeah, probably Awa. I don't really, it's, Awa's probably not the best to be out there, but Rafinha, Marquinhos and Mole in the midfield. Awa, Mbappe and David up front. And the only instructions we're going to do is Florenzi and Atal to stay back while attacking. And that is how we're going to play. So uh, let's get into some games and see how this goes. And here we go, guys. Into the first game. Uh, we're up against a 4-3-1-2. He's got a nice team. Ben Yedda, uh, Awa, Guimarez, Marquinhos, Kimpembe, Florenzi and the cheeky Keylor Navas in there, among some others. Um, I certainly think we've got a better team, for sure. Um, it's going to be interesting to be using this new formation. And it's also going to be very interesting to see if people are doing, you know, the uh, the golden goal stuff with this. I, I know for the One Nation they were. But I, I think I saw a lot of people say that for the One League, a lot of people had troubles getting the golden goal stuff. Now, I, I'm not, I'm literally not fussed either way. If, if my opponent is going to engage in golden goal, then I'm going to engage in golden goal too. Um, but if they're not, then I'm absolutely fine with that. But it's good good for us to get Mbappe on the ball again. We haven't had Mbappe for a while. Here's uh, David. Oh, here's David. Here's David. Oh, big save from Kaylor Navas. That had some time there as well. Dominators 19 has paused it. And he's quit. Oh, there you go. That's what we're going to be dealing with, isn't it? Fun times. Fun times. Let's try that again, guys. So, <laughs> uh, we're up against a 4-3-3. Serie A team. He's got Team of the Year, Ronaldo. Dybala, Quadrado. He's got the Silver Stars and Duncan in there. F five insane players. And then some stinkers outside of that. He's, he's playing then Golan Wildly off Kem. Um, but anyway, let's get into this game and see how this one goes. This guy gets that run with Ronaldo. I'm just curtains. You know what I mean? Well, we've got a bit of space on the outside here. Is Awa. Penrith! Awa! Whoa! What a finish! Awa with an absolutely banging goal. And it is golden goal. So, uh, 
I'm I'm now just going to work through this, guys. Uh, get it done and dusted, and then we'll move on to the next team because as it's golden goal, probably showcasing the um, the way we're scoring, winning, etc. is not going to be enjoyable for you guys. Uh, maybe it is. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but there you go. I I don't even know if I got I got a win and an assist, and I think that was it. Yeah, I didn't get a finesse shot, unfortunately, which we've got to do in six games. But we've got to do assist assists in ten games. We'll see how it goes. We're just going to start pushing through it and uh, we'll see what we see and we'll get what we get. All right, guys, to end off today's road to glory, we are going to commit to completing the mid or prime icon pack because content, right? Why not? Why not? So first of all, we need an 86 rated squad with 50 chemistry and an inform. We've got the Susek going, the uh, Yaremchuk that we just got from the 10 wins going, uh, a Tony Kroos and a Handanovic untradeable going. Um, the Pulisic, who we literally completed just to put into an SBC, is now on his way out. So don't mind that at all. I guess as a Primex Players Pack, of course, we don't expect too much from a Primex Players Pack. We'll open all the packs at the end. I'm going to go and build the second 86 rated squad, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. For the next squad, we have got Courtois, Modric, Edison, and Aguero in there. And then a whole bunch of 83s and 82s outside of that. Of course, everything's untradeable again. It does now get us into a point where we're going to struggle to do the 85 unless I use like the Mane um, or the Oblak. I, I feel like Oblak is a player that I would be in, like more likely to pack again and that is just less relevant to me. But then again, saying that... Um, oh, Spurs Bronze, nice. But that, yeah, then, then again, saying that, I... Um, I also feel like I will never, ever use Mane. But I might potentially use Oblak. But then again, maybe not. I, I, I just don't know. We've got Blanc anyway, so goalkeepers don't really matter. So I think uh, I think we're going we're gonna to have a look at what... I might do the 83-rated squad first, um, just to get that kind of done and dusted, because I'll be able to put an 83-rated squad together, no problem at all. So we'll go and do the 83 first, then we'll come back and we'll do the 85 last. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, this is the 83 rated squad done. Nice and easy. Uh, I had to buy a couple of players. We bought Coquelin and Matuidi just for the chemistry. Outside of that, everybody else was already in the club. Now, we are absolutely going to struggle to just put an 85 rated squad together. Even if I use Oblak, which I might, because why on earth not? You know, the whole point of this game is for fun. So we might even use that Oblak and then just try and fit around uh, some kind of dirt cheap team around him. Uh, but even if we use that old black, I'm still probably going to have to spend some coins um, on this ooh, Chinese League silver. You don't mind that, do you? Not quite as expensive as they were before, but not too shabby. 3k now instead of 4. Very nice indeed. Um, but yeah, th that is... Oh, we've got no trade pass space left. We've got one more trade pass space left. That is where we're at right now. And so uh, I will be right back with the last squad and the icon pack. All right, guys, we have finished the 85 rated squad. I had to buy some. We already had Vaklik. We already had Corona. We paid 29,000 coins for Sommer. That's crazy. 6.5k for Fernando. 6.9 for uh, uh, Acuna Matada. Angelino, untradeable, first owned. Oscar's going. Don't care about him. Saul cost us almost 14k. Lamar, first owner. Radecki, first owner. Or Black, going in, first owner. Obviously, we get a mixed players pack. Um... I can't believe the price of fodder right now. And it makes me want to grind League SBCs real bad. Because basically every time we get something even 83 or 84 rated, we are going to make big coins. Even some of the 82s and 83s are extremely expensive. Now, in terms of a specific player, what would I like? What would I need? I am still looking for that monster attacking icon. I will take an honorary prime. I will take Eusebio, Pele, Garincha, Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, you know, uh, Cruyff, all of the big guns. I will also take a great version of like Balak or Vieira or Hullet. I'll take one of those guys as well. But we get ourselves here a mid or prime icon pack done with basically fodder. Can we get a big one, EA, or are we going to get another stinker? It's going to be French. Great start. Centre forward. Is that Cantona? It is Cantona. Let's go. Let's go. What a player. What a beast. 
I think, isn't that his mid, mid card, not his prime? Who cares? 1.6 million coins of a man. Five star skill moves, four star weak foot. Brilliant physicals. He might have to just replace Bruno Fernandes, man. I don't know. How do I even fit him into my team? I'm happy. I'm so happy with him. I am so happy with him. I think that is his mid. That is his mid. His prime is 93. Could you imagine picking up his prime? Four more pace, two more dribbling, two more physical, three more shooting, and one more passing. His prime would have been next level good. Also a centre forward as well. That is the first monster icon that we have packed pretty much since Dalglish. I don't even know how that influences my squad. Do I do I put him in instead of Ronaldo? I would get more chemistry. Do I put him in instead of Bruno Fernandez? I, I literally don't know. I, li I literally don't know. I have no idea what on earth to do with this card or where to play him. I, I mean, I could just play him instead of Ronaldo. But then, uh, then I'm not using Ronaldo. And that's ludicrous, isn't it? I'm playing Ronaldo at centre mid anyway. Because I've been playing De Bruyne up front. I literally don't know. For Rooney, oh, you're out of your mind if you think for Rooney. Rooney's got more pace, more shooting, more or same dribbling, more defending, same physical, and only one less passing. You're crazy if you think I'm putting him in instead of Rooney. His Rooney card is just an absolute monster. 30 goal contributions in 39 games. I'm not turning this Rooney away. He stays in my team. He's too good. I literally don't know. I'll, I will figure that out in my own time. Even Bruno Fernandez is like, other than... Other than physical, Bruno Fernandes, like, poo-poo's all over him. Oh, that's that, that's tough. That, that has left me with a full-on conundrum, guys. But that is going to be the end of the Road to Glory for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.